Hi, my name is Wilman Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film, and also proud Phoenix Global Artist Ambassador. Today, I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed singer, songwriter, comedian, Sarah Dooley. For more on Sarah, you can read more about her right below this video, but in the meantime, take a sneak peek at the incredible talent of Sarah. Sarah. Oh, oh, hi, hey. 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 Um, hi. Hi. What are you, uh, what are you doing here? Here? Oh, oh, you live here. Doi. Yeah, yeah. I, so I, dumb. I, I thought, do. I thought maybe, um, you, you moved. No, no. I'm, I'm here. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. where I live. Yeah. Oh, I just, um, I had a meeting. Yeah. Cool. General meeting. And is that laundry? This? Oh, no, this, um, is full of scripts. Oh, cool. Yeah. Do you have chocolate on your face? Oh, yeah. No, it is. I know. Um, look, do you think you could come uh, pick up your stuff from my place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, it's been like so busy. Oh. Good busy, actually. Oh. Like things are starting to pick up, Great. which is like oh. so exciting. Mm -hmm. So, so I just, I, I've been like so busy. I haven't been really thinking about it. No, me either. Yeah. yeah. At, not even in my mind at all. So, uh -huh. yeah, same. So you, you didn't get all my voicemails about it? Yeah, well, no, I don't know, because my phone's been like on the fridge. Yeah, oh, yeah, it, that I, happens, I, yeah. Vanessa keeps saying to get an Android. Oh, she does? Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, I stop telling you what to do. Yeah, and she's like, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. like, I love you. It's been like Cute. insane. But maybe I, maybe I should get an Android. Oh yeah, they're famously very good and cool. You should, you should get one. Maybe should I get should. One. Yeah. Maybe I should get yeah. an Android. Okay, well. <sighs> I'm yeah. gonna go. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but it's been really good seeing you. Yes. And you look great. You feel Thank good. You. Yeah. And I feel good. I'm so glad. Well, I'll see you. I'll see you. I'm okay. gonna see you around. Yeah, yeah. Sure? Sure, yeah. Yeah, like when you come pick up your stuff. So much better that I'm speaking with you, Miss Renaissance woman, singer, songwriter, comedian. She does it all, folks. And you know, you only got a little sneak peek of her talents, but you just have to go down the Sarah Dooley rabbit hole all over her socials. She's a basically, you know, well, she's basically living my dreams. And I'm gonna speak about you for a little bit, like you're not in the room, Sarah, in the third person. That I um you're giving me like old school, like variety show vibes. I'm like 21st century Carol Burnett. Oh my God, that is huge. That's so nice. Thank you. I only speak the truth. <laughs> Sarah, where were you born? And when did you realize that you not only loved music, but that you were kind of funny? <laughs> Ooh, okay. So I was born in Kansas City, which is random because then I grew up in Indiana. Um, and I was super, super shy. And then I think that I, I went to a theater camp as one does. And my parents came to the like big performance at the end and they were like, oh, she's probably going to be doing like the stage manager kind of stuff. And I randomly like came on stage and was like, I am 16 going. And they were like, what the, what? And I just like changed. And I remember being at school and this boy, David Walters, I said something and he was like, I thought you were the shy one. And I go, not anymore. <laughs> so it was basically Louisa in, um, <laughs> In 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 sound, sound of music, music mm -hmm. that brought you that that, that really uh, brought you out of your. And I, by the way, as a director, I really have to comment. 
I would have loved to have seen your Louisa because I feel like it was like Louisa meets Mama Rose. <laughs> totally yeah. inappropriate yet so correct. I had a cigarette for some reason. They were like, um, all right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> you are hilarious, Sarah. Okay, so that's where it began. But okay, so one of my favorite videos that you have on um on the socials was you actually witnessing your song being played during a Disney Plus show. Talk to me about like how that all came about. I mean, so I have a good friend, Alana Pena, who created the show Diary of the Future President. And she um, has been such a supporter of my music, which is such a huge honor because she's really cool. And she was like, I really want to use one of your songs in my show. And I was like, please do. And I didn't like quite know when it was coming out. And, um, and then a friend of mine filmed her daughter watching the show casually and then being like, that's Sarah's song. And she was like, did you know that your song's on? And I was like, okay, cool. And I went and watched it and it was like the most, it's so cool to see your song like uh, in a different context of like, wow, okay. A lot of young people are gonna be watching this and listening to my, that's really cool. It, yeah, well, it was special. I think it also just speaks to your talent, Sarah, because obviously not only are you a relatable performer, but also as a creator in, in content, comedy, singing, songwriting, in that it must have been really cool for you in addition to listening to your song on a TV, yay, but also that your lyric and song can fit different narratives. Yeah, yeah. I That was also very, very cool. And um, yeah, I always struggle with that as a songwriter. I, I wonder if other people feel this way of like, should I make my lyrics more generic so that it could fit with more shows and t and that's like not what it's about obviously yeah. so when it I does you happen your unapologetic self I mean I mean no but I have talked with some um songwriters who used to seriously write to get placements and even when they got the checks coming in and the placements done and yay Instagram like I can say I'm on TV like their head on the pillow at night was like wait I'm turning into that artist that I didn't want to be like yeah. yeah what's it about what's it for yeah Sarah, you have some sort of amazing way of blending all of your skill sets and tools in your arsenal, especially as a, you know, a creator and a comedian. Um, you know, in this time that we've had 18 months of you know, lockdown, I'm curious to know, like in looking within, if there was a why statement you always had that was like either heightened or you kind of did away with and you have a new why statement. Hmm. That is such a good question. You didn't think I was gonna get all Barbara Walters. Yeah, God, am I crying? Shoot. Um, <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. Um, <laughs> no, that's such a good question. And I, gosh, off the top of my head, I would say that it became more about connecting than it had been before. Like I, I think I would make music in my room and then kind of like try to put it out. But during the pandemic, I started doing a weekly show on Instagram that was a lot less polished, a lot less kind of, you know, perfected. You didn't have time to think. No, absolutely it's in not. Imperfection, people can relate. Yes, and it was so beautiful to see how that was needed. I felt that it was necessary for me. And it was so cool that other people were like logging on to be like, Hey, this is making my nights. Like I'm, I'm here with a glass of wine and my like husband and we're watching. It was really, really sweet. And so that changed for me. And I thought that was really, that felt very important to me. Well, Sarah, I think that's why I bring, I bring up the point of your being a 21st century variety show uh, comedian is because you basically did that during the pandemic. You were creating appointment entertain yeah. oh I never thought about that you're so right <laughs> I mean I just speak the truth then I do my research who knew who knew wow yes Sarah, no, you're right <laughs> you know in looking ahead um you know well first and foremost I, I really do hope you keep up doing what you're doing in that not over because I think it's a great show don't tell for artists out there that it's actually not about being perfect, but that there's actually perfection within the imperfection, that there's perfection within the vulnerability, there's yeah. perfection within the mess, because that is called truth. And right. as we all know, truth and comedy. And Sarah, you are so effing funny. And again, I think it's because, and I'm sure you've gotten this, 
you have like that relatability it factor, right? You're the every sister, you're like, you could be like an every young mom, you could be, you know, the, the every, oh my God, best friend growing up. And like, she just keeps doing like, she lives in like, she's she's doing her bliss. Like, and I'm just here at my night to five. Like, I feel like you never gave up that sense of play. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's so true. I, I kind of don't know how, like I'm- Good. <laughs> I'm like, this is just who, how I am. I hope you like it. Like I, but I do. Yeah. Something about the pandemic made me realize it's good to be a little messy. I think I was a lot more concerned with being perfect before that. And then I realized like, what do I like in an artist? I Mm. like, I actually feel that I know what they're coming, how they're like, where they're coming from and who they are. And that, um, so that, really makes me feel good to hear that that that's happening well, hey I just speak the truth and it moved me and you know I'm tr- I'm also curious Sarah final question and looking ahead what are you most excited about in connecting in connecting with live audiences in mm. connecting with future collaborators yeah yeah so I just moved to Los Angeles which was a big shift for me because I was in New York for 13 years and um I feel like I'm at college orientation like I'm so new like in a new place, I meet, I'm like here to make friends. And so I'm, I'm playing new shows, meeting new people. And I'm saying like, yes, to, to new collaborators actually. So it's funny you bring that up. Um, before that would be really scary to me, I think to be, cause it's vulnerable to, to be like, here's an unfinished song. Is this even good? Is this even worth your time? And I'm, um, really excited to just sort of get into rooms with people and be like, yep, let's try stuff (laughs) i love it and that's my doorman god bless but um listen sarah i'm so grateful for the time that you took today and i just want to let our audience know for more on the incredible sarah you can read more about her right below this video sarah thank you so much thank you so much this was a delight (laughs) and sorry about the doorman god bless new york do you miss her honestly i do say hi for me i'll say hi to my doorman in new york that's who i meant yeah (laughs) (laughs) Bye. bye